Five that overstart. I'll cool. bond with anyone overstart. Uh, nice. uh, live long. Who would? Yes! Yes! <laughs> what did you just do? Live long. Can you do this? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Sure. Yes, yeah, so Scott and Nance with Entertainment Studios. So, first of all, I love this movie because it was not what I expected. Okay. Like, I thought it was going to be like. Okay, Mona isn't quite herself these days. <laughs> you know, turn into like a like sort of a sort of a pet cemetery for people. Mm. But that's not where this goes. This movie is very unexpected. So, what can people expect? Um, I think to be I surprised think, for sure. Yeah, and I think there's a lot. Um, it's moving. A lot of heart. A lot of passion. I think you know, family. Um, I think it's a film that makes you think. And question, you know, there's a lot of science in it, but practical science like cloning to bring your family back. So there's a bit of w what would you do? Um, there's some kind of nefarious kind of technological company that's taking something that is so impactful personally to to us that ends up to us that wants to maybe use it for not such good reasons. So there's a cautionary tale in the piece. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, and there's humor, you know? There's, it's not always dark humor as well. I mean, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, and then there's some dark humor. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Thomas Middleditch is in the project and he's fantastic, and John Ortiz. Um, so I'm, I don't know, it's like a well-rounded picture. I don't know. Your take? Yeah, to me it felt like a, a sort of, I mean, I watched it with some of my family and it felt like a movie that played to the family, which I quite liked because it also, does ask questions that are maybe a little bolder or braver or outside the box. Mm -hmm. And I think that it sort of pushes the boundaries in that way. I mean, it certainly made me question things. And um, and it certainly kind of instills your belief in family. I mean, it makes it really is a, a family story. You know, the fact that it is about family, the fact that it's so, it does have a lot of heart, a lot more than you would expect for a suspense thriller like this. Like, who is going to watch this movie and relate to it? and ask themselves, what would I do? Totally. Right? I, I, who wouldn't? He's saying everyone should watch the movie. Oh, everyone should? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. for everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It is for everyone, though. That's it, it, kind of hard to do, I think, in this genre. But it does, it, <laughs> like, like right in the camera. <laughs> it, does, it, does, it does feed everyone. But also, you know, it, it, it is a provocative film because we're not that far off from this. I mean, in recent years, you know, you've seen like cloning of animals, you know, cloning of people, not, not that far, you yeah. know? So it, like the moral dilemma that, that really like, that asks you, you know, like if you were in this position, you know, what would you do? Yeah, I think that's the uh, enjoyment of the picture. It mm -hmm. poses that question, you know? And it's also the, a big heart, you know, uh, you know, this is, uh, you really, really care about these people and you're, you're so much more invested. I think that's the message actually that is that if you do it for love, if you if you replicate whatever in service of love it might go your way. I think it's maybe if you replicate in the service of something else maybe it will go a different way. You know this is a film that you also produced you know so like how um, I guess uh, uh, you know does it how much did, did it more how much more did it mean to you to, uh, to what, like really make this film. Yeah, I was, um, I was part of the beginning of the story and telling of this story and in the creation of it. Um, I'm an executive producer on the picture, uh, so I, didn't, I wasn't doing physical production, but in terms of the creative, was, uh, um, yeah, it was, it's, it was my baby. Uh, it is my baby. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know, people tend to think, talk about these things as laborers of love. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, it, it came, I have a real passion for the story and where it goes and how it tells the story, its ambition, because it plays with a lot of different tones and ideas, but I think it kind of carries you along through the experience in a, in a really great way. Um, so hopefully people will enjoy it. Well, congratulations. Great seeing you. Thank you. Great nice to you. see Thanks you. Nice to see you. Love to see you. Nice to see you. Hey, guys. Here's today's Daily Fact. Now, for John Wick 2, Keanu Reeves performed 90% of the film's fight scenes himself. Now, to prepare for the role, he trained for three months in judo, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, marksmanship, and driving. Oh, not bad. Now, remember to click here below to subscribe for more great content or on the side to watch more videos. <laughs>